Did you know that approximately 2.7 million dogs and cats are being killed each year because of the lack of shelters and adoptive homes? Hello, my name is Fatin, and I'm going to be telling you today why it is important for you to add your voice to those who care for animal rights. First of all, let's talk about why these animals are important. And I'm not going to be covering all the animals in the environment. Let's just start with the cats. These small cats that you see in the streets, have you ever thought of how can I be benefiting from them? Well, let me tell you that these cats are eating the mice, rabbits, and rats, and all these types of animals that are supposed to be eating our greenery in the fields, our food, and our grocery. So they are keeping us alive, even when we are not noticing it. What about the dogs? Well, the dogs, for instance, if they are trained well, they can be helping people who can't see to navigate the earth, to walk and see and be their sight. Now, what about the medicine in your hand? You know that there's no medicine in earth haven't been first experimented on animals. And in some cases, animals are tortured and killed under these experiments because some scientists are not considered to be merciful nor have any bit of mercy in their hearts for these animals. So they keep them under the experiments until they die. What about the makeup? Well, makeup games in the same place as the medicine. It's always first trained and experimented on the animals. Now, you may be wondering, what can we do? We can't change the law. You alone can't change the law. That's right. Me alone can't change, which is also right. But together we can. If you put your voice with mine, and I give my voice to others, and we be a big group of people who all care for animals, we can ask for the change. We can ask the government to add the law of animal rights courses to the law where will be killing a cat in the street or punishing it is a criminal. We will be in jail. When killing a dog or pushing a dog is gonna be a criminal attack. In this world, we should be all working to live because it's a better environment, not only for us, but for all the God creatures. Now, this is not an easy task, I know, but what is an easy task that we can all do? What can you do as individual? Well, Gandhi says, be the change and start from yourself. What can we do then? Well. Let's suppose you're walking in the street. You see a cat hurt or someone hurting us. Will you stay silent? Well, you shouldn't, obviously. You should speak up, go pick her up, do something, go to the police, whatever you can do, you should do. You should do so something. If you're waiting for someone else to do it, then it might not ever happen. And it will might die. What about your role as a parent? Well, I know from my parents that they were making sure that me and my siblings always knew that this animal have a soul inside. It can feel pain, it can be hurt, it can die in our hands. We should be gentle, lovable, and scared and have the most affections for this animal that it might be hurt in our hands. So, our role as parents is to teach our child. We are their first role model. We are the first person that they look up to. So let's be the right role model. Let's do it right. Do the right actions so that your kid sees you as someone who do the right stuff, who care, who love. He will do like you. So with that, you're teaching it. And you're not just changing your child methodology. We are changing a whole generation methodology. So that just imagine the world that we will be living in after 50 years, if every parent in the world has to teach his child to love and care. 
not only the, uh, humans, not only for his teacher, not only for his siblings. He loves every God creature. What world is it going to be? So my friend, I am urging you to stand up and be the change. Speak up for those who can't speak for themselves and do something, right? Be something that everyone looks up to and be the change. Thank you.